Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's your girl, Sunset and Waves, coming at you once again on the YT. And this video that I'm doing today is going to be in regards to parabens. And some might say, why is she doing this video about parabens? The reason why I'm doing this video about parabens is because my newfound love, the cream of nature, both the shampoo and conditioner contain parabens. And I noticed that a lot of products now are saying paraben-free. Um, and I was like, why is that? Why is parabens? What's the deal with parabens? And um, Tyra had told me the deal with parabens is that people are concerned about cancer-causing um, agents. So I'm like, oh my God, that's crazy. So I said, let me, you know do some research and find out some more about parabens just so that I'm abreast of what the whole concern is with parabens and why it's such a controversial um, ingredient. Now, be in mind that this is my first time videotaping on my friend's iPad, so I'm trying to fight with where I'm looking. Okay, so parabens. Now, um, parabens are used pretty much as a preservative in um, cosmetics. So that's their main cause is to preserve the ingredients, okay, so that I guess it doesn't spoil. Um, however, what a lot of people don't know is that parabens are also naturally occurring. So um, you heard me right. They can be found naturally. And um, they can be found in blueberries, honeysuckle plants, olives. So all them people dousing their hair with olive oil, parabens. Um, carrots, strawberries, etc. Um, natural occurring parabens contain specifically methylparaben and sometimes ethylparaben. So I'm going to be typing everything because I know that I'm probably pronouncing this stuff hella wrong. But I'm going to um, type some stuff into the um, description box, pretty much some bullets of what I'm saying now. Um, I also learned that in cosmetics, so if the blueberry is found in in the cosmetic. They don't have to list that as methylparaben, okay? So they can just put blueberry extract and they're scot-free and they can put on the label paraben-free. So just because it says paraben-free doesn't necessarily mean that that's a ticket to, um, you know, a non-paraben product because um, the cosmetic industry only requires um, legally that the person, if um, put the plant and the part of the plant. That's why a lot of times you'll hear, you don't just see aloe, you'll see like aloe leaf extract. That's the proper way. But um, like for olives, they can put olive leaf extract. I don't know. And then they wouldn't have to put um, the paraben name. Okay. So if it's a natural occurring paraben, it can kind of skate through the ingredient list without seeming as though parabens are involved. However, in when it's naturally occurring, the paraben is only 0.3% pretty much um, found within the product. Like, um, for example, the blueberries, the methylparaben found in blueberries is only at a 0.3%, a which is not a lot at all. Um, so that's the whole thing with the parabens and that, you know, I just wanted you guys to know you can find them naturally. So if a um, product contains parabens, it doesn't make it an unnatural product. I know that hurts some people's feelings, but that's what I'm found. That's what I found out. Okay, so now parabens and cancer. The whole thing about parabens and cancer began with deodorant. Um, the reason for that is because deodorant, you know, put it in the armpit and the breast right here. And the reason, what the concern, most tumors, which I didn't know this until I did my research, and breast mass are found within this region. So the parabens, a lot of parabens have been found in um, deodorants. So because parabens have been found in deodorants, um, that led to, you know, the linkage because parabens have also been found in breast mass tissue as well as tumors. So that's what um, kind of led the concern. So um, I covered that. So in regards to the antiperspirant, um, People, you know, were concerned about the breast cancer um, because the paraben also um, has an estrogen-like effect and the estrogen um, is established as a risk factor for breast cancer, which also brings birth control into the mix and putting you at risk for breast cancer. Um, 
But um, in England, I just wanted to tell you about a study, um, which is the most recent study. They studied 160 tissues from 40 mastectomies. And um, between 2005 and 2008, 99% of the tissue samples showed um, that at least one paraben. 60% of the tissue samples showed... Um, Five, positive for five of the top parabens um, may, basically found, like the methyl paraben, the ethyl paraben, the pro, proly paraben, the butyl paraben, the isobutyl paraben. Um, however, women who don't use deodorant also showed up with levels of parabens in their breast tissue. So that was like, okay, ding, ding, ding. They don't use deodorant. So it can't just be the deodorant, it may be something else. We need to look at what else can be causing these parabens. So that led lotion, moisturizers, and other things into the questioning. So that's when all these other products, other, other cosmetics were brought into um, questioning as well in regards to the breast tissue. However, just because the FDA you know, um, and CDC haven't, um, you know, pulled all these things off the shelf because just because the paraben is present doesn't mean that it's the cause of the cancer, if that makes any sense. So, I mean, I know this might be a dumb analogy, but this is the only thing I can think of. If three people are in a room and one person fell, that doesn't mean I pushed them. That doesn't mean I made them fall. I'm present, but I didn't make them fall. Does that make sense? So, the paraben could be present, but that doesn't mean that it was the cause of the cancer. Um, this is all what I'm gathering, so I'm definitely putting it in layman's terms. Um, so also, parabens have been removed from the majority of antiperspirants deodorants. However, the, it still presents an issue in regards to breast cancer. So obviously, it can't just be about deodorant. So other sources then began to be of alarm for, you know, people in regards to breast cancer. Also, one thing I found that was interesting is the presence of the methylparaben in regards to chemo patients really reduces the effectiveness of chemotherapy, which I thought was very interesting because that's something you want to stay away from. You're trying to get cured of this thing. That's something you need to stay away from in order for you to, you know, heal yourself. So a lot of um, people are in studying that. That's becoming one of the things that they're studying. Not really the fact that it causes cancer, but the um, reduce of effectiveness, effectiveness it has in regards to chemo. And I'll be putting the link of that website that I found that information also in the description bar. So also, um, the synthetic and the natural parabens can be found in a lot of products. Um, so I'm going to just show some of the products that I have at home that contain parabens. Um, the Johnson Baby Moisturizing Wash. I use this on my little boo-boo. That contains parabens. Um, that contains, let me see which paraben. Pardon me, pardon me. Polio, polio para, paraben. Okay, so it, and methyl paraben. Okay, so it, and it also contains sodium hydroxide. Y'all know that's perm. It contains that. We washing the babies with perm. Also, um, the Cetaphil. This contains parabens. Um, which paraben did it contain? The methyl paraben, which is the top paraben. That's the, the one that um, most of these products contain. The Desident that I put on my little boo-boo's butt. Um, that contains parabens. You know, I just was looking up products that contain parabens. Um, the poly para, the polyparaben. That's what it contains in this, in the Desident. Um, sorry, I'm just putting it on the shelf. <laughs> the allergy medicine from Walgreens. That's supposed to be like, um, Benadryl. That contains parabens. It contains the butyl paraben. And the methylparaben and the polyparaben. So you're eating this stuff. That contains paraben. Um, my Aveeno um, Positively Radiant Daily Scrub. That contains parabens. <laughs> Who knew? That contains... Which parabens? Which parabens? We found parabens. 
um, the methyl paraben, which is pretty much the most common um, paraben found, which is the one that the people are concerned about with the chemo patients. Um, so that's um, some of the products that I personally own that contain parabens. Um, parabens can also be found in shampoos, conditioners. Um, parabens can be found in moisturizers. Can, parabens can be found in shaving gels, lubricants, body and face wash, spray tanning solutions for those that spray tan, um, makeup toothpaste as well as food we mentioned that and food additives preservative for food so we're eating this stuff um however there are also plenty of products that are available that do not contain parabens so i say this to say that although um you know the cream of nature does contain parabens it's not a deal breaker for me because I found parabens in so much stuff. I'm going to still eat carrots. I'm going to still eat blueberries. I'm going to still wash Carter with the Johnson & Johnson. People have been using Johnson & Johnson for years. Um, and unfortunately, I kind of feel like parabens is one of those products that is going to be extremely hard to um, dodge. You know, it's pretty much in everything. And like I said, olives um, also have parabens so it's one of those things where you got to really see what you know how far you're going to take this now some people might say oh, i'm only going to do it for hair products but that really wasn't the main concern for the whole paraben thing the whole main concern was my friend's deodorant i don't even wear deodorant i ain't gonna lie i only wear deodorant when i'm going to the club because i know i'm gonna be dancing and i don't want to be funky so i'll put it on but for other than that for like everyday life like I smell good. I don't got deodorant on just because it makes me itch. It makes my underarms itch and burn. And I'm just like, no. And then I tried that crystal rock and I kind of felt like that made me funky. So <laughs> without further ado, I'm not going to say no more. But um, yeah, so that's my little thing about the parabens. That's what I've learned. Please feel free. Oh, they also say it's found in toothpaste. Brushing your teeth with it. So I mean... <laughs> Please, you know, let me know um, what your whole thought on in the in regards to the parabens. Um, how do you feel about this video? Like I said, this is just the research that I found, and I will put the links of the um, the websites that I got this information from. I did find it interesting just learning about it, and um, yeah. So join in on the conversation. Let me know what you think, and um, hope to hear from you guys soon. It's your girl, Sunset and Waves, y'all. Peace, deuces, I'm out. I'm still going to use my shampoo. That's not going to be an ingredient that deters me. But I can understand why somebody might not want to use it. You dig? I can dig it. You dig it? I dig it. I know that I'm probably looking all kinds of ways in this video because I don't even know where to look. <laughs> but it's your girl, Sunset and Waves. Peace.